people. So it's very important to start early. It's very important to choose a good brand that's very reputable. And of course, make sure that you have done your due diligence and uh, find the right provider. So when I was starting my financial journey, I really struggled buying financial products, especially complicated financial products like insurance. So on this episode of Finance Made Simple by Canera HSBC Life Insurance, I'm going to speak with uh, Mr. Rishi Mathur, who is the Chief Digital Strategy Officer. So welcome to the show, Mr. Mathur. And first and foremost, beginner advice that what are some of the key things that you will tell people in terms of buying complicated financial instruments like insurance? Yes. So when we're talking about insurance, I think it's very important to make sure that you first start not with products, but with your needs. So it's very important to figure out what your long term needs are. And how do you figure out what your long term needs are? They come from your goals. So for everybody, it's very important to first set your goals, mm -hmm. set what you, uh, you know, it could be that big vacation you want to take. It could be your child's education. It could be the retirement plan that you always wanted to make, but you know, haven't got down to doing it. Mm -hmm. So that's where you start with. So you start with identifying your needs, identifying your goals and jot them down. And then once you've got those uh, chalked out in terms of milestones and what's the plan around it, then you come and see that what are the products and what are the insurance products that actually fit in well with those needs. So let so, me take a let me take a minute and quickly ask a question that even goal setting is really really difficult. As humans, we have infinite needs and very few resources. So to that extent, is there like a framework that you would like to share in terms of goal setting when it comes to buying financial products? So when you're doing goals uh, for yourself, I think you have to really think long term, and I think that's where the importance of you know insurance, which is about how to protect what's valuable to you and how to make sure that you have the right amount of money available for your long term, the big things in life. That's, that's where the power of insurance comes in. So you have to uh, think about what you're protecting and what is it that you are actually investing for in the longer term. So I think that's how you prioritize your goals. So it's, it's not about you know, the smaller things in life, but the bigger, bigger goals that you want to achieve. And those are the ones for which you make a plan for. So insurance is a very complicated product and people find it sometimes boring to buy these type of things. So what advice A you would give people and is there like a framework that you would like to set in this context? Yeah, so the way I think about it is that when you are talking about longer term goals, then you need to first protect what you value, right? So we've all you know created some assets for ourselves, we all have our relationships, we all have people who are dependent on our income. So that's the most important thing for us to protect. And therefore, uh, you know, you have to protect against the most important derailers. If you look at all the research that says that in most cases, you know, all, all our countrymen, all Indians, you know, they make some form of financial plans, but, you know, most often they get derailed because, you know, either it's a major illness or, you know, the a loved one passes away and all of these things make a big impact on your, uh, you know, plans for the future. So the way to address it is first protect what you value and there's no better product than insurance to make sure that you're protecting your life, your health and against any critical illnesses which may derail your plan. Right. And then obviously look at how do you achieve your longer term goals? How do you invest in the right mix of assets to be able to get there? And again, for the longer term, life insurance is one of the best products available. Again, it's a function of your own risk appetite, how much risk you can take. And then accordingly, you can figure out that whether you want a guaranteed product, or whether you want an, uh, you know, a product which is linked to the market. Once you have got these basics right, then you can go ahead and compare and find out which is the product that best meets your needs. And then you're set. You have a really good long-term product with which you can work. So this is a fairly comprehensive checklist, but for beginners, they might get confused by looking at all these uh, checking items. So if there is a simpler framework that you could help us understand, for example, brand, that would be of great use to us. So if you can hit two, three points there. Okay, so uh, looking at that, I think it's very important to choose a reputable brand, you know, a, a brand that is backed with you know, strong financial institutions. Uh, I think it's very important that we look at the claim settlement ratio and the history and experience of the insurance company. So I think that is uh, one of the most important ways to uh, shortcut or to understand that decision better. The other very important thing is to make sure that you start early. I think 
irrespective of whatever plan you choose if you are actually starting early in your planning and in your purchasing the right insurance then you will eventually you know do better than somebody who's delayed in this decision so it's very important to start early it's very important to choose a good brand that's very reputable and of course make sure that you have done your due diligence i think both a complex and a simplified version that you presented in terms of insurance would definitely help a lot of beginners in this space so i hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you the next time Canara HSBC Life Insurance Promises ka partner